Hey what's up guys welcome back to Tech Explained this is Srikar and in this video I am going to show you 5 amazing websites that you wish you had known earlier because they make your life much easier and much more productive. So the first website is going to be 12ft.io or simply 12feet.io. The home page says show me a 10 feet paywall, I'll show you a 12 feet ladder. So essentially what it does is, uh, let me give you an example. Uh, you might have searched for some articles on the web just to know that they have been paywalled. Uh, it means that until and unless you pay a premium subscription, uh, you don't have access to the content of that article. So one such example is that I've taken the Indian Express. Uh, here is an article which is only for the premium users. As you can see, this is the headline and if we scroll down, uh, we can see that the complete article is not visible. It is blocked by this paywall. Uh, here it says uh, you need a subscription to read on now available with a special Diwali offer to view this content you need to subscribe what 12 feet IO does is that it takes this content and it removes this paywall so without any premium subscription you can read the contents of this article for free how how do you do that how do you do that so you can copy the link in here and then you need to go on to 12feet.io and then you can paste the link in here and then say just remove the paywall and then it loads with a different URL and now you can see that the paywall is removed and you can view the entire article right so you have the content you have the full article in here removing the paywall and there is another way you can do that if you don't want to go to the website every time you can take the url of this website copy it and then just say 12ft.io slash and then paste the url and boom the 12 feet ladder kicks in and then removes the paywall for you just like before right so this is the first website and then moving on to the second website this website is called snapdrop it works something like airdrop but for android devices and windows pcs linux machines and whatnot so uh, if you are an apple user you know that you are, that you use airdrop to transfer files wirelessly between devices and all but what if you want to share wirelessly between an iphone or your mac and windows pc or windows and an android phone or android devices so this website is known as snapdrop.net what essentially this does is that uh, you need to be on the same network uh, on both of your devices that means you need to be connected on the same wi-fi uh, you can share your mobile hotspot with your laptop and then you will be on the same network same local area network and then you just need to go on to snapdrop.net if you go on to snapdrop.net with both of your devices uh, your device names will be visible here here in this case it is my device name is brown crow and other devices will be listed here so what you can essentially do is that you can share messages and photos and other stuff between your devices the best part here is that this is an open source app and uh, all your data in transit is encrypted so there is no way the, your data gets hacked or anything like that it is a peer-to-peer -peer connection it means that uh, the data will only be transferred between your two devices or two or more devices only it will not be sent to any servers it will not be uploaded and downloaded nothing like that it works on a peer-to-peer -peer connection which means that your data is safe and also it is an open source software i will provide the git repository down in the description you can check out that this is a beautiful website that you can use instead of a drop right and then moving on we have remove.bg uh, have you ever wondered that you have to learn photoshop to remove background from your images and to edit your images and all such stuff no it is not at all required to learn adobe photoshop in order to edit your images uh, one of the free tools that you can get uh, to remove background from your images is remove.bg this is a website that i often use 
so what it does is that it removes the background from any image that you throw at it and also you can customize backgrounds let me show you here uh, the website is remove.bg and here we can upload our images like i have a i have a picture of a girl here i sourced it from unsplash i if i remember correctly so here it is the original photo is this and the background removed photo is this uh, you can download it it's of pretty good quality you can use it somewhere like 6 12 by 4 not right it's not some bad quality and if you want the original photo you can download it in hd but to download it in hd you need to pay a price uh, the free tier works as well i always download it for free and not only removing backgrounds you can also edit the backgrounds like uh, let us see so you have got a variety of background photos that you can choose for this and also one nice feature is that you can blur the background in here see uh, oh oh this is looking nice right this is looking very good it looks like an original picture so what you can do essentially is that you can take a photo remove the background or change the background if you don't want any background photos you can set the background to any color that you like okay you can choose from a wide array of colors this looks good uh, you can also make the background transparent if you want to make stickers or some sort of stuff and also one cool feature is that you can erase or restore the background that has been removed right so the next website is going to be say mine.com uh, this is a company known as mine and it aims at taking ownership of our data so what it essentially does is that it scrubs our inboxes and looks for the companies that have our data and sends them requests to delete our data uh, you can get started on mine for free and then you can enter your inbox you can sign in with your google account and then it scrubs your emails it now it does not read your personal emails and the contents of that and it does not collect your data it lists on all the companies that that you have received emails from in your inbox and then uh, it shows you the list and you can select which companies you want your data to be deleted from and it automates the sending of messages and all that requests it handles a request and all that and the best thing is that even businesses large businesses use mine uh, to help in their customer relation management right uh, so this is what mine does i will be making a separate video on how to use mine to recover your data right moving on to the next website the next website is quillbot.com this is a website that essentially is a pair of razor so what it does is that it takes some sentences or some paragraphs and then if you hit a uh, paraphrase it essentially paraphrases them like it makes sure uh, that plagiarism isn't there in your content like you can make different versions of your con of the content that you find online and you can use it yourself mm, let us see the original sentence is uh, quillbots paraphraser takes your sentences and makes changes helping you to rework and rephrase your content quickly and efficiently so the paraphrased version of this is with the help of quillbots paraphraser you can rapidly and effectively rework and rephrase your content by taking your sentences and making adjustments right you can make adjustment uh, uh, both are essentially the same thing but said in two different ways that is what paraphrasing is like uh, you have different versions of or different modes here standard mode fluency mode these are free and then formal simple creative expand and shorten are paid like you don't get all and everything for free right uh, at least you can use standard and fluency modes there are different sentences in each of them see in the fluency mode here we have quillbots paraphraser changes your sentences allowing you to rework republish your content more quickly and efficiently and then there is another feature like grammar chugger in this so let me type a sentence i love quill what let me type a small i have been used it obviously this is a grammar error and let's see if it points out see it has pointed out 
two grammar errors, one punctuation and one grammar error. And if I say fix all the errors, it will be working on it. And boom, you have it. I love Philbot and I have been using it, right? This is accurate. So that is it for this video guys. In this video, I've showed you five amazing websites. If you really enjoyed the video, make sure you give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to the channel and leave your comments down below and peace.